Good morning, everyone. Sorry, I bumped you already. Uh, happy Black Friday. This is Jody from Jody Lynn Creations, and I'm here to show you my Christmas journal. I'm so pleased with it. It's so excited. I'm just tickled to show you. It's pretty chunky, but um, I had such a blast making this. So here's the dangle. It's got all kinds of ribbons, and there's um, this dangle here, and then there's uh, another one that's, and I just sewed these on, the ribbons. Um, this is a dangle that I made from just a piece of paper, and I put um, Tim Holtz's uh, embossing glaze over the top. This one, too. And then this one just has a little green bulb sewn on it. And it's mostly um, just ribbon and fabric. So, yeah. And then this is the front. Um, this is actually um, the outside uh, part of it. The quilted part was some fabric that um, a girlfriend and I, a long time ago, made some little Christmas trees. And for whatever reason, we cut up all the fabric. We needed little squares. And we cut up all the fabric. And so I had all these little cut pieces left. So I made a little quilted um, piece out of them. And put it on an envelope. And this is a piece of wrapping paper that I sewed down with some gold thread. And then um, put the believe on so yeah, I can believe in Santa. So yeah, this is some little dingle. Uh, uh, I don't even know what you really call that, I guess. Um, trim. And on the inside cover, there's um, a lace pocket here. A couple candy canes. And um, this beautiful Christmas fabric. I just love this fabric. Little Santa's on a black background. And there's a couple tags in here. You can write on the back of those, of course. Well, maybe not that one. But there's those tags in there. And then this one has a couple tags as well. A little journaling card there. And a little candy cane. This is just a, a pipe cleaner, actually. And this is a cloth pocket that I've sewn around. I have these in my shop. And a wish. I have these in my shop, too. Um, it's a package of six or nine, I think. And here's a little um, tag there. And this is a journaling card here. You can write on the back of that. There's all going there. And then there's... Um, lace trim all around. Here's a pocket here and this has um, a couple tags in it too. This is, a, this is a stamp that I have and I embossed it on there. The visit from St. Nicholas, the, the normal uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas poem. Looks like this needs a little spot of glue right there. And so that goes back in there, a little tin soldier. And then this is actually an embelly clip here. So this is stuck up underneath of this embelly clip here. And there's a little tag there. And it just sticks up underneath of there. And there's another little tag in a pocket here. A little tag in there. A little Christmas there. And the next page is the, of course, the other side to the embelly clip. And this has a little booklet underneath of it here. Or, well, I guess it's not a booklet. It's a, just a, a paper that you can write on. Front and back. And that goes back underneath it there. And this has a little um, journaling card here underneath the little trees. black trim here and some more, um, I don't know, dingleberry trim, I guess you call it. This was decoupaged with a napkin here. 
And this season's greetings is a die. I think that's a Tim Holtz die, one of his many. This card right here is actually from, um, I think this was last year's kit um, from Artie Mays. I actually started this journal last year. Um, there's a little stocking. Um, when I was um, called away, my father passed away last November, and I, was, I had just started this journal, and so I had to put everything away because I didn't make it back for Christmas last year. So this um, actual book stayed only half made for the last year. So when I pulled out all that Christmas stuff this year, I found it. And so I decided to finish it. This is just a, a fold out you can write on there. This is some uh, coffee dyed paper that I made and uh, um, paper that's that's one of uh, Tim Holtz's um, decoupage papers that I put on the top of that. And that goes back in there. Oops. Get that back on there. There we go. And the next page is, um, this has a tag here. I actually think this is a little booklet, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you can write in there. It's got um, a little piece of muslin in there to hold it together. A little tuck here for it to fit into. And this is a little angel page. And this has a little um, tuck here you can write on. And it clips back underneath of there. And this is a fabric flip. And this has a little tag here that actually fits inside this little tuck here. It's a little snowflake dangle on the side. And this is, um, this is a napkin. It actually was a square napkin. And I put a little lamp post on either side of it. And you can put a picture here, or you can actually probably write on that, too. Um, yeah. And then this is um, a one, another one of Tim Holtz dies. I think they're called On the Edge dies. And this is a decoupage napkin. And this is another one of um, Artie Mays' tags that I paper clipped in there. And this is the belly band here, going the opposite direction. There's a couple of tags in here. This is a tag from, um, or actually this paper, I think this is Stamperia paper um, from last year. Like I said, I originally started all this last year. And then here's, I think this is uh, some Artie Mays digital here, one of her freebies, I think. And this is one of Tim Holtz's new little uh, mini stamps. And, of course, his little um, metal charms there. So that goes in there like that. Actually, I think I put this one on the top here. It's a tight little tuck right there. Oh, that doesn't fit in there. It does fit in there. Come on. There we go. And this one can hang out over the oops. Looks like that needs a little more glue too. Okay. And then this is a little flip out here. This is actually some Christmas paper that I made a little bag out of. And there's a couple tags here. This, I think this was last year's stamp period paper too. And this was one of Artie Mays's um from one of her kits. That might have been a freebie too last year, I'm not sure. A little pocket here, a little piece of velvet there. And this actually has a little um, uh, folder, I guess, you can, and you can write in there. And that goes back in the little pocket there. 
This has some little tags here. These are Stamperia papers, I believe, too. It's a little doily on it, and this was just a piece of fabric I had in my stash. And this is, um, this is a little uh, tag that I made. Um, Artie Mays is one of her um, videos I followed for that. Those were so cute. I have some of those ready-made in my shop, too, in my Etsy shop. Um, this is just a postcard here. And this actually is um, a big journaling card. You can write on the back there. And, of course, the bag. You can always you know, put this little dangle here. And this slips inside of that little paper clip there. But yeah, you can always fill it up with more memorabilia. Um, a little picture of Santa here and a candy cane. Um, there's a little tree. This is a die cut that I had in my shop. Um, they might still be in there. I, I don't remember, to be honest with you. But those were from years ago when I had some leftover a little tag here, and this little tag here, right on the back. And this is actually, um, this is a napkin that's been decoupaged on, and then the festive gent um, with his little wreath. And the tree I made into a tuck, so you can tuck a tag in there. And this is, um, oh, I forgot to get the name of that. Um new digi kit that I used. I've been trying to be better about that. Um, this was just an old die cut I found in my stash. And here's my little naughty and nice book. I have some of these listed in my shop too. A little book you can write all in that as well. And this is um, a little tuck that Artie Mays made and it had uh, a um, a magnet right here she put in it so you can kind of hear it snap shut I like that <laughs> that's so cool and her her she just put in a book but I tucked mine over um, a page and then made a tuck out of it on the other side so that's what that is and here's a couple of little um, uh, journaling cards here in the back of that Excuse me. I think I need a drink of my coffee. This has been, um, this is an envelope that was decoupage too. And there's um, a bingo card and a postcard inside of that one. And there's, um, and this is just a pocket here. This has a, um, uh, tag on it. I really liked how this tag came out. It's so pretty. I just love that. A couple dangles here. It slides back in there. It actually slides back in fairly well considering it has that little bell on it. And then this is um, this is a die cut that I have in my shop. And here's a little letter. Um, this is just a plain piece of, actually this is wrapping paper that you can just ride on. So I stuck a bow around it and a little candy cane in it and used this little die cut as a tuck. And this is um, a little pocket here with a little journal card in it. And this, these are actually, um, envelopes I think there's a, a paper in here that you can write on too a little coffee dyed paper like that there's one on either side and then a couple little dangles for the center those little um, bulbs Christmas bulbs there and then this is just a tuck here with a little dangle. I found these uh, um, charms. 
Years ago, I found a charm bracelet at a flea market, and it had all these really cool little charms on it. I just love those. This is a decoupage um, tag with some uh, some of Tim Holtz um, words that have been die cut, and then I put um, I covered them with uh, glossy accents so they're shiny. And this is a little. Um, journaling notebook type thing or folder I guess you'd call it here. Let's stick her in there. And this is a little tag here. I didn't have, I was looking for some red scraps and I didn't have any so I sewed two pieces together and made a little pocket there. And this has a little tag in here. There. I guess we're still on camera. That's good. And that goes in there. And this is a little flip out here. And it has a little uh, tag in here. There, a little Santa tag there. It's stenciled on the back of it, but you can still write on the back of that. And then this is um, oops, a little ho-ho pocket. This is some um, felt trim that I've had for years. I couldn't even begin to tell you where I got that. Some garage sale or something, probably. And there's little journaling tags here, or uh, journaling cards. That's a, a postcard. Those in there. Big red bow at the top. And then... This is um, a little tag here, a little postcard there. And this this little boy, this is one of those, um, the kit that I can't remember I used. Um, I'll put it in the description. I'll find it and put it in the description. But he was so pretty, I didn't want to cover him up. So I just made a little tag down here. This is black velvet. Put a little tag in there. And this is another one of those words that I put the glossy accents on and this is um, just a little this is an actual envelope that flips up I guess you can see that pretty good and this is this is a tree I was totally uninspired by this page and I couldn't figure out what to put on it so I ended up putting this stenciling this tree on it and I still didn't like it so I covered it with snow I hope you can see that on camera and then I covered that with glitter so it looks like it's kind of, you know, out in the out in the wilderness. And this actually has a little tag in it. You can pull this out. And this is a a little um, Santa letter to a child. This was a digital too, and I just um, shrunk it down so it would fit in here. Get that. Oh, there we go. Oh, actually, that's not a card. It's a whole little, it is a card that opens up. You can write in that. I'd forgotten about that. I was thinking it was just a journaling card. It looks like it's an envelope. Like I said, some of this I did. Well, I think I did this one this year. Yeah. Because that's part of the, one of the new kits I just got. So These are some Tim Holtz trees here. And this is actually a bag. And this is a sled. I have some of these in my shop too. And this has a journaling card in it. Here. And then it actually has another journaling card in the back of it. There's another one here you can write on. And this one has um, reindeer and trees on it. I put these reindeer on here. I hope you can see that okay. Um, and the little tree in the house. And then I thought, well, I need some need some blue behind here to look like sky. Well, I found this piece of scrapbooking paper that I had, and it had reindeer across the top. Of it. Actually, it had reindeer across the bottom of it. So I cut it off and put the reindeer at the top and used it for my blue sky and also for some extra reindeer for eight tiny reindeer. You can see them shining through there. I thought that was pretty clever. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is um, just a little pocket here with um, sequins 
all around with a couple little trees tucked in there. And uh, some little tags here, or that's a tag, and this is a tag here. And this actually opens up and it has a little ticket in it there. And you can, of course, put whatever you want to inside there. And this I decoupaged on there uh, to cover the, um, or it actually it wasn't decoupaged, I just glued that in there so you could see that um, when you opened up the envelope, you would see a different picture. So those three all go back in there. Maybe. There we go. Like that. Some little red eyelash yarn. I just love that stuff. And this is, um, here's a little dangle, a little Christmas tree, and another one of my little tags. And this is a pocket here that has um, Santa's list. And this is um, a couple of journaling tags here. And this is a letter to Santa. Here, the envelope, it's not just that. Oh, it looks like it, that one needs glued down too. Um, yeah, so a little letter to Santa. Or the envelope anyway, there's no actual letter in it. And these little cards there. Um, this is a little tuck I just learned how to make. Um, it's just a couple strips across the end and I put a little something in there it just seemed like it needed something to I don't know stabilize it I guess but it works really good for a little tuck I like that um, and here is um, a journaling uh, card there and this is another journaling card here and there's one there that this is just um uh embossed up there and this is a, um, a tag here has a piece of lace at the top this is just a big envelope and it has this uh, card in it a journaling card in there and then a little dangle here this has a little um, I think it has a tree on it it's supposed to hang down there this and this at the top, like that, and a little green bow. Put that back in there. This um, envelope here was actually made with, um, years ago, Tim Holtz had a stamp that printed backwards, so you could, like, put it on the inside of a clear um, piece of acetate or something, and I actually put it on the inside of a napkin, and then I decoupaged the napkin onto here. So it looked pretty cool. I thought it looked pretty cool. And here's the other piece of the uh, doily, the square doily. And there's just some decoration there. This is a little pocket here with a little tag. Just some red glitter paper here. And this is a piece of black velvet. And there's a journaling card in here. I thought that one was just so pretty like it was. I just left it. It's kind of sparkly. And this is a decoupage page here. You can put pictures here or write in that there. And this is a little um, tuck here with a little um, card here. That. And this is um, actually, excuse me, one of Tim Holtz's, um, the um, die cut that has all the little pockets in it. So I stuck all these little tags in there. And that one doesn't want to come out now. Oh, looks like maybe it's stuck in there. I'll have to fix that, but the rest of them will, will come out like that. All those little tackets. tickets. Tickets. And this is a, um, look how fat it is, I won't even know if I'm going to open up all the way. Um, a little piece of velvet here, ribbon, and a little tag here you can write on the top 
and back there too, and a little ticket here, or a tag here. Put that in there. And these are actually, this is actually one of my digitals um, in my shop. It's a uh, coffee dyed paper. And this one is too, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see the background there, this gold and black background. That was a jelly print that I made, and it turned out so awesome. I made some um, digitals out of them, and they're, um, they'll, I just got them ready to go. They're, they'll, they'll be in my shop. Hopefully today or tomorrow. So these, and here's a little um, folder here. And it's actually, this is a, an embelly clip here with Santa on it. And this is a little file folder here with a little sled leaning on a tree. And you can stick all the treasures in there. Letters from Santa and different things like that. And that goes in there. And this goes back on here. Let's see if I can get that back on there. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. And these are actually um, little journaling cards that were, this is a little envelope. This one is, you can stick little treasures in there. <coughs> Excuse me, I need some more coffee. And this was an old postcard. It actually was a digital. And um, I have some postcards that the backs are really cool on, but the front of them I don't care for, so I put it over the top um, of a postcard like that. And then this is just a little... Uh, looks like you could write a letter there. And those all go in this embelly clip here. Like that. So this should come up a little bit, I think. There we go. Okay. I'll put these in here like this. So they'll stay. And this is a little... Oh, I forgot. Here's a little red envelope that I stuck in there. That's for a little mini Santa letter. <laughs> Here's a little red uh, ho-ho ribbon for a belly band. And this was actually the front of a Christmas card that looked really cool. So I stenciled on the back of it and I put some um, uh, gold washi tape down the side of it. You can see it there. And you can um, journal on the back of that. And then this is the... Um, back page here, and this has a journaling card here, too. And this is another one in my pockets in my shop, there. And this, this is actually one of my digitals, too, the background here. I thought it looked like candy cane, kind of. So I used that in there, and I made some little pockets. <laughs> this trim is actually off of a, a blouse that I bought at the Goodwill. And then it has all these little tags in there. There's three in there. And there's three in this one. These are the cutest little tags. These are from that stamp period kit. It was like an eight by eight um, pad, I think. And these little tickets here too. Or tags, I guess. They're small enough to be tickets. So yeah. Some little candy cane stenciled on the back there. And this was a, um, a lace pocket that I made to stick in there. And yeah, so that's the end of that. That's my beautiful Christmas journal. I just love it. It's so beautiful. I hate to get rid of it. But it's going to be in my Etsy shop. I have a... Um, I haven't uh, listed it in there yet, but I'm going to do that today. And so um, I probably will have my um, the Black Friday sale going today too, 10% off um, my whole shop. And also um, I have a couple new uh, digital kits 
that I'm putting in all the background stamps and then I have um, a uh, digital postcard Christmas postcard kit that I'm putting in today too so and there's my beautiful tree ribbon and so yeah that's my Christmas journal thanks for watching everybody hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year hugs bye-bye